what's up guys how does this learning 101 here learning with rich so for this topic let's continue our discussion about dynamo so for this one so we we are going to talk about creating and modifying uh, text string in uh, dynamo all right so uh, string data type so this is actually the computer science term for text or a string of characters so once we have created our first string so we will be using the string here so i'm going to search it to here so i'm going to type string so this is the uh, node that we'll be using so if you know the the library you can go to your um, input you can go to basic and then you can click the string here or in my case i always search it from here much more faster so i just type the string and then there you go this is a string all right so once we have created our first string so we are going to uh cover some commonly used nodes that use string data as an input so in aec our workflows strings or texts are frequently used in a similar ways to a text parameter on revit Okay, so maybe it will be a mark or a key value or some other identifier for objects or data. And sometimes they are used as nodes or complete sentences. All right, so let us uh, start now. So enough with the introduction. So I'm going to key in here some text string. Okay, so let's say um, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog period all right so this is now my string okay so let's begin with this node okay so we call this node that is called uh, change case change case there you go so change case so this is an extremely useful tool or node in Dynamo. Okay, so let's say, for example, the standard in your company on the project browser, the floor plans needs to be, the floor plans names needs to be in uppercase or smaller case. So this is the node that is extremely useful. Okay, it will quickly change your text case into a, uh, uppercase or lowercase so as you can see our string change case uh, node here it has two inputs so we have string and upper so I'm going to connect the string here so there you go and then if you hover your pointer to the upper input so as you can see we need to have a boolean here okay so if it is true it will convert to uppercase so if it is false it will convert to lowercase so let's look for boolean so again I'm going to hover here and then look for boolean so there you go. So there's my boolean. So I have here true and false. So I'm now going to connect this here to upper. Okay, so if it is false, the output will be small letters, lowercase. So if I'm going to change this to true quickly, okay, so it's a very powerful tool. So as you can see, it quickly changed the case of our string here to uppercase so if you select your true so true false true false all right so pretty useful yeah okay so the next uh node that we will be using is uh let's say change case what else so we have replace okay so let's look for do we have a string replace search here okay so replace so this one so i'm going to click that one there you go all right so for this one our string dot replace node it has uh three inputs so again it uses a string as an input so another is search for so again it's a string and replace with again it's a string so we have the three inputs of strings here okay so for the first one so let's say for example the standard in our company uh instead of space we need to put an underscore there on my previous company we used to do that so we use underscore all right so what if you have a lot of floor plans and you need to replace all those floor plans so it will 
uh, take a lot of time to change it manually one by one. So instead of that, I'm going to use Dynamo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this string here. Okay. And then since we need to use a string here as an input for our search for and replace with, so I'm just going to copy this, the standard control C and then control V. So control C and then control V. All right. So there you go. So I'm going to change this one backspace. So I'm going to search for space here. So here on my string, I'm going to press space bar. It's not blank. There's a space on that. And then I'll just click outside. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to attach that to search for. Then I need another string here. So I'm going to click this. Control C, Control V. There you go. So again, we need to change this one. So there's a space here. So backspace. And then we want to replace that with underscore. So I'm going to key in underscore and then click outside. There you go. So uh, we just need to attach this to replace with. And then let's look at the output. There you go. Okay. Pretty fast, right? Why? Because you can save these notes and reuse again these notes to your future uh, product. All right. So what else? So there is another... Uh, Note that I want to show you, which is called um, count. Okay, so let's say you want to count the total number of, of the characters that you use, just like in Twitter, right? You want to know how many characters that you are already using on your string. Okay, so what's this? So let's look for this string. So it's called string count. Oops string count occurrences this one so i just click this one okay there you go there you go there you go all right okay string count occurrences all right so for this one um i'm going to put here a three input okay three inputs so we have a string here and then we have a string and then boolean all right, I have a boolean here. So let's say you want to count how many is the... Oh, I'm sorry, just a correction. It's not the total number of characters that you use in your in your uh, string here. So it's just the occurrences. So let's say, for example, you want to count the total number of spaces that you use in your string. Okay, so we can use this one. String count occurrences. So again, I'm going to attach my string here. Okay, and then I'm going to copy another string. Oh, I already have the space here. So I'm going to use this. So I, I want to search for the space and I want to know how many spaces that I have on this string here. So I'm going to attach it here. Search for. There you go. Okay, so for this one, I don't need to use my ignore case here because I'm not looking for for any uh uh, letters or word okay so I'm just looking for a space here so I'm not going to put here a boolean so it's not it's not necessary okay so I'm just going to use this one and then as you can see there you go so the the total number is eight right so you have here eight spaces so if you're going to count it one two three four five six seven there you go seven eight all right so we have eight occurrences of spaces so it's it's correct all right you have underscore here you have eight underscores so one two three four five six seven eight all right so that's your uh string count occurrences now for the string length so let's say for example the character the character total number of characters that you use on your string so this is now the string length. So this is the one that I'm talking about. So string length. There you go. String length. So probably I'll just put it here. Okay, so where's the string? I'll just attach it there. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, there's the total number of string that we have used here. So we have total number of uh, 44. So let's count. So if you're not sure, but this is obviously 100% correct. So just to make sure. 
Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, so that it's like in Twitter. So if you know, if you want to know the count of the string that you have, use in your string so you can use this one string length and then if you still remember we have a topic wherein we split our numbers we create a list of numbers you can actually do that as well in your uh, uh, string okay so we this node is a string split okay string split okay there you go so there's the there's the node that I'm talking about so string uh, split. So again, uh, for this one, so we have an input of string. So maybe I'll just put it here. So I'm going to put it there. So there's the string. Okay. And then after that, as you can see the output here, function. Okay, so separator. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to put my um, space here. So I put it there. There you go. So there you go. All right. So as you can see, it lists here the string that we have used here with the separator of our space bar. So as you can see, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. So they're being separated by the string here. Okay, this is uh, very useful if you're importing text format data into Dynamo that's extremely well organized. So maybe data that uses commas or semicolon to separate clusters of related information. So it's something like the CSV or the comma separated values format or maybe you need to import a list of email addresses from an address book that uses the less than and the greater than symbols to denote an address or a hyperlink okay so as you can see dynamo is not just for numbers so it can be quite powerful in analyzing and uh, modifying the text data in your projects and your building information model in uh, Revit okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you for watching have a nice day